We know each other. Don't recognize your old mates. We're the Crinfrid Reavers. I lost my memory. As did Boholt. After the hunt for the Golden Dragon, he took a spill and hit his head on a rock. He can still be a beast in battle, but besides that, he don't do much save eating shit. Rarely even lusts after women. I doubt that's amnesia. I'm Kenneth. And this one here they call Desperate, and this is New Boy, he's um, apprenticing with us like. I haven't had much luck with the monsters of late, so we enlisted. Now New Boy's gotten himself into this wager situation. Would you help us for old time's sake? I mean, we all got a little riled. But those are bygones, as I see it. We'd have set you free, the sorceress too. Boholt was just fooling about the rape and all. What rape? You trapped, Desbrit. The Witcher don't remember. Waste of words to remind him. We're old mates, that's that. So you'd have raped this old mate? Just the sorceress. You were there to kill the dragon. The sorceress too. The peasants wanted at it, everyone did. But there was only one prize. And we argued there was some commotion, a regular rumble in fact. We tied you up like hogs, meaning you and the sorceress, and went after the beast. Dragon thrashed us so hard, we spent the next half year licking our wounds. You've done freed yourselves of your bonds. Who was the sorceress? Raven Aired she was. Remember her name, Desperate? Uh, Conifer or some such. So, willing to help some old friends, Witcher? Sorry, I'm fresh out of time. The King summoned me. Ah, piss off, Witcher. You haven't changed a bit. Just plowing a different witch. What was that? New boy, grab your sword. You only live once. Let the knighthood see that we Crinfred Reeve. Wait, this sorceress. No time to help your mates. But you're glad to stop and talk about some bird, eh? Maybe we ought to try this talisman on the Witcher. We'd hang. He's the king's favourite now. The sound in the assembly. That's us. I feel like a git going out in knickers alone. You sure it'll work? Let's go. Too true. Overwhelming. Slipping on that shite. Maybe this could be on entrails. Those trebuchets are fucking powdered. The full part of them. Must be shitting themselves on the walls. Laugh all you like. Come the assault, we're slipping on You're that shit. Battle, Carol. Better that than all your own entrails. With full test to victory! They're getting what they deserve. I hate. Word is way up north. The fucking powder and the pull out of them. Must be shitting themselves on the walls. <laughs> Laugh all you like. Come the assault to be slipping on that shite. <laughs> Any advice from a veteran? That's shown down the ground. Kick their asses, Geralt. Those trebuchets are fucking pounding the pull out of them. You seek the king. He waits near the machine. Have no mercy. The gods be with you. They'll be sitting down to the table. A beautiful day for battle. 
Fear not, Excellency. We're out of range of their arbalists. I am no warrior, sir. I must admit, I prefer to joust. Finally! Traitors of the realm boil tar on the walls while you dally with the royal advisor. How may I assist you, sire? We mount an assault today, and you'll be at my side. Follow me, gentlemen. Let's not keep the traitors waiting. Sire, you said we were out of range. That was a ballista, Excellency. Its arms strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away. A deadly and very costly weapon. An experienced crew can cock and release two bolts each minute. Yet it has one flaw. Your Grace, please take cover. The recoil of the arms is so strong upon firing that the weapon shifts. It simply cannot hit the same spot twice. I had no idea your grace was a learned military engineer. I'm not. I gave the Baroness those ballistae two years ago for her birth. Sire. What say you, Excellency, of men who live in spite of such wounds? And what say you, your grace, of soldiers who inflict them? Those who did this live no more. Master Geralt, I wish to converse with you once the storm of battle has subsided. Forgive me, Excellency. I plan to leave the Royal Court as soon as possible. Might I know why? Too often they take me for someone I'm not. What do they call you? Wait. You served with me at Brenner and during our foray into the Pontar Valley. Norman Sadel. Still an arbalist? Yes, sir. Fight has not been kind to me. Ha! <laughs> Norman Sador, for your years of faithful service to the Crown, I appoint you Decurion of the Arbalists. Onwards, gentlemen. No reason to dawdle. Forgive my candor, Your Majesty, but uh, I must ask, what fate awaits the royal bastards when... Uh, they're my children. If I hear bastard one more time, someone will die. Painfully. Your Grace, forgive me. But the laws of succession are irrefutably clear. Piss on the laws. I'll change them if need be. Above all, I'll not allow a band of treacherous barons to use my children as their banner. is entirely within his rights. Adder is dead. And I have no other children. I see. This conversation is over, Excellency. Please retire to your tent. Black ones in my camp before a battle. What has the world come to? Nothing will make me happier than returning his shriveled head to Emir in a sack. But Triss Merigold insisted I be patient and courteous. Was I? I couldn't have handled it better myself. I always knew you were one of us. And bugger what folks say. They talked about Ada no end. Have you learned anything about the assassin? Nothing new, sire. A month's passed and we don't know any more than we knew when we began. This investigation's going nowhere. My agents have learned little also. But we'll find the culprits. It's just a question of time. Now for the battle. I want you at my side today. Then you may go where you please. Thank you, sire. Where are you aiming, imbecile? Soldier! Spyglass! What is going on up there? The gods! Count at you, Barry! Cat switcher! Aim for the rogue with the red plume. Not six months ago, he swore eternal friendship to me. Quickly! How much higher? Two and a half degrees.
Did we hit the bastard? He ducked. Damn it. We'll get him on the walls. Follow me, Witcher. Witcher, I'm prepared to forgive Louisa. All she need do is to kneel before her king. Very noble of you. Are you mocking me? Never mind. I'm certain Louisa will realize her mistakes. Besides, children should have a mother. I'm lost. It's quite simple. Louisa and I had a bit of a tiff. She made demands I could not fulfill. Understand? I think so. Count Echeverry and others immediately intervened, all noble, all sympathetic. They claimed the evil king would take her children, but they would protect them, even place them on the throne. And the Baroness was duped, her motherly love used. In truth, they desire privileges that would weaken the throne. That's a swiving soldier's life! <laughs> Taking orders, smash your bow! <laughs> Going and country there, your wife! And a long road at your toe! <laughs> Look alive, men! Hail to the king! Where the hell are we headed? To the What the fuck do we want? Victory! This I like! Weapons at the ready! That tower was ridiculous. It was designed to break the rebels' morale. A bunch of lords and lordlings took a ride to then pompously stride on top of the walls, while the real army fought and died below them in the shit and piss-filled streets. If years of service have taught me anything, it's that the Highborn don the best costumes and get the best vantage points, whether at a ball or in battle. But it's not the time for that kind of jousting, Witcher. Continue your story. Things went relatively smoothly after we came out of that tower. That is, until we ran into Arian Lavalette. You shall push for the center aisle and bring down that gate. It's a good day to kill, your majesty. Follow me, gentlemen. For Temeria! Lord Swan, you and your men shall follow me. We must capture or otherwise deal with Arian Lavalette in order to break the defender's morale. Yes, your grace. Geralt, gentlemen, follow me for the glory. Ho! 
Fall back, goddammit! I forbid you to die like imbeciles! Hear me! They've taken a good position, the bastards! If this persists, they'll pick us off like ducks, and I'm no duck! Any ideas? That will miss him. 